Hi there, this is Rob from Reason101.net and uh, I just wanted to tell you a couple of other things with regard to the audio drum processing unit that I put together. Um, it seems like every time I take one of these videos there's always a bunch of things that I forget to tell you about. Um, but basically uh, the one thing I wanted to um, let you know is that all of these individual drum combinators that are tied to your different um, your different re-drum channels they're all separate so basically uh, the bass drum has its own type of processing behind it the snare drum has its own type of processing behind it um, the two snares are pretty much the same um, then the tambourine or clap it has its own type of processing behind it um, and basically I tried to work out what would go best with a tambourine or a clap um, as well as what would go best with a snare drum. So that's why the, all the effects on the different combinators are actually different and they're processing your drums in a different way. So that's one thing to keep in mind. The other thing to keep in mind is that there are two drum processing, audio drum processing files that are included with the system that I created. Um, and I'll just show you the other one. There's one that is an empty template here. And then the other one is the electro drum unit. And uh, I'll just open that up for you. Um, and basically, this one, um, the empty one, the empty template, obviously, uh, it comes without anything loaded into the redrum, and you can load your own drum kit. Uh, so it could be any drum kit that you want. With the other one, the electro drums, what I did was I actually tried to show you something a little different. I tried to show you how you can connect. Um, different Thor devices or you could use subtractors or maelstroms and you could connect these um, to the redrum and if you look on the back basically what's happening is um, the different processors are going into the different or I should say the different synthesizers the different Thors are going out to the different processors um, and basically the only thing that the redrum is doing is actually triggering all the different um, synthesizers so in this way you could create you could build your drum kit this way and this just gives you a different option if you want um, you can actually play this and then you can process it in the same way that you can process um, a normal redrum kit so you can add more depth less depth one more tape compression um, I did set up the sends but you can turn the sends off and hear the dry signal or turn them back on and then you can process each one of these if you want to try the snare drum out let's say um, you can just Actually, let's try try number four. So there's the tam clap there. So you see, you can process each drum differently in this same way. Just try that snare out. Okay, so you get the idea. Basically, um, what this is, is just two different ways that you can um, play your redrum unit through the system. And uh, once again, if you just follow the arrows, you should be pretty much all set. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory what's doing what. Um, and uh, I hope that helps you out a little bit more and gives you a little bit more insight into what I'm trying to accomplish here. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to mention is that this um, top drum submix um, Basically, uh, this is what you're going to use um, to deal with all of your different sends, and you can also deal with the levels here. You can change your panning amount over here. So um, in this way, this is a fully complex um, audio processing unit that is built to handle any kind of drums that you want to throw at it. Um, and hopefully you can either use that as a template for your own drums, uh, or you can use it as to create a few different loops that you can throw in to recycle afterwards. 
I'm hoping that you do find it very useful. So uh, once again, this is Rob at Reason101.net, and uh, this is part two of the audio drum processing system. Thanks for your time, and thanks for listening.